So we're going to rip you over here at Louisville State Fairgrounds for the truck show. It's the 50th Mid-America Truck Show. This is the show and shine part of it. One of the manufacturer's trailers over here. Miscellaneous parking. Oh wow, there's even a little mountain over there. On the high river here at Louisville, Kentucky. That's one of the first trailers I ever seen with those fiberglass fenders on it. It's got a wing mounted in reverse. I thought they were from California, but it has a Oklahoma license plate on. Man, I bet that thing really lights up at nighttime. Got the Prius parked over there, Harlow's in the truck. They're so big they can only look, kind of look at one side at a time. Look, people just getting here. It's a four hour drive. Sexy black car hauler. Peterbilt. Some of these trucks are brand new. They're, they're 2022s. And then here we are in uh, March and 2023s are out. I don't think so. They do trucks a little different. What's this one? Hmm. Canadian. Steel hauler. So we're just going to be in the 50s for the weather today, but it's about the same as Ohio. Usually it's a little warmer here than home, but we're the same this time. They didn't have the show for two years, and I, I was here filming in 19 at the last show. They tore down there's these auditoriums, arena, broadband arena. They they tore down the lacrosse field one. Think of this trailer this guy has. It's got like plastic corners on there. It's built like an enclosed trailer. Like a van on this part. They've modified a drop deck and then put the sliding tarp system on the back. So, one of a kind trailer. And it was set up for the air hoses down there. Okay, that's why. And then he's piped them up through here. They've changed it. This might be Canadian too. A lot of these guys are from Canada that are into this. in Europe. It's like the a lot of this stuff's inspired from Europe. Um Conestoga area industries. It started out actually there was there was two guys that were doing this in Canada and then as far as I know, that's how it started out in the 90s. Hand cooked tires are from Korea. This place is going to be so jammed. That's the, that's the a Ford, but it's, or it's, a, it's a ProMaster van, a minivan. It's all European inspired. Ford's one of the most global companies on the face of the earth. Ventures. So Honda just opened up a $124 million wind tunnel. 
So yeah, a crazy green peat with a dump trailer. I think those things are scary when they dump those trailers, man. They're, they stand them right up, man. Tip, tip them over a lot of times. Man, it looks so dangerous. It's scary. People still get in here. Uh, there's a toter home. He was parked over in the corner. We're gonna move a little closer. So this is the brand new Peterbilt with those kind of headlights. It's a 2022. And another one. These are 2022 semis that have been all um, customized from from day one. They, they take delivery and then spec them out. We're, we're by the airport. Uh, the UPS Buster Brown jets fly in all the time. Huh. Another steel hauler. So sort of the plan was to um, be around here at, um, but it's daylight for so long. After dark they start these up and crank up the stereos and turn on all the lights. So then they, they dump the air out, set them on the ground. This is a working class line that I'm in right now. I'm thinking. So this one has a, a grain hauler. All that expensive grain. Hi. Uh, Pretty slick. Yeah, he's dumped the air out of this one. Set it on the ground. He's got the painted air breathers. Kind of a minimal, in a way, on a gingerbread. Just three lights there and has its own look and really a customized reefer trailer, too. I was here at 7.30 in the morning. These guys were out here polishing their trucks. It was just getting daylight. It's a crazy dark um, sapphire color. There's an older truck. Here you go, and it lit up over here. More of a blue than a... Not sure about the color. So, um, this was the, um, Spirit 1976. And then... These came with a porta potty in them. It even has gold for, like, a gold edition, but... Red, white, and blue. It's got the 76 on the breather. It's got the aerodyne. Oh wow, this line keeps going. I, I, I'm gonna have to cut this off somewhere. Man, that barbecue smells good. So these guys are all YouTubers too. They, the dry bulker. Yeah, uh, 76, man. That was like 56 years ago now. Man, that, 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 was a, that was a really long sleeper. Huh. I wonder if that's... I guess it would be original. 
I don't remember stuff being that big back then. Yeah, that's a different sleeper. It, they weren't that big. It was stretched out that many. Yeah, here's the picture of it. Then, and uh, you, you can see from the doors in the back, it's um, it's uh, at least 12 inches longer now. Just the sleeper alone, the, the whole truck. That's cool, he's got it documented and everything, but yeah, that's the newer. Look at that again, yeah, yeah, um, they've added 18 inches, I would say, even. Um, that's probably a 72 inch bunk where, um, that's, um, see, now I'm just throwing numbers out now, but that's a 60 inch bunk, it should be, in a way, but the newer, yeah, they went to 70 some. From 48 would be a single bunk. It was a double bunk, but it wasn't that big. So there's one of these still around. It's got the monkey up in the thing, and it's it's probably from the 70s. I thought there'd be more people out here. It's mostly just vehicles. Somebody out of Pennsylvania, it looks like. Then you could just see the engine in the back of these. He's got a piece of chrome covering up his engine. Michigan train. That's a Western Star. Hemlock, Michigan. East. That's an Ohio company. Yeah, they went in and told East what they wanted and they built it for him. Looks like a walking floor. Crazy looking paint job. Yeah, they get kind of wild here with their ideas. Some um, there's an auto car. I never thought I would. Yeah, I was kind of shocked when they quit making them. But anyway, 
I wonder if that's a painted a paint on the fender. Just like a mirror and huge front tires on it. The heavy axle. Big rotator here. I think there's a few of them here today too. This one's based in Kentucky. Just some extreme paint jobs. I think glitter in the sun. Crazy hot paint color. Nice paint they have. Thanks for watching everyone. Burger to be over here at the um I was gonna say the record show. Be lucky uh we'll get to go to a record show someday. Just the little wrenches and think you'd need to hook something up would be pretty expensive. Yeah, I'm going to see some stuff here today, that's for sure. Thanks again.